Welcome to Jill Asset News to get top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets and break them down to bite sized pieces. Today, we've got some pretty positive news stories. So, first up, number of Bitcoin wallets with 10,000 plus Bitcoin hits 2020 high, showing whales confidence in a sentiment report. And this is just another type of incident of where we're looking at what's going to happen in the future, and we can tell the sentiment is positive. Also, speaking of sentiment, this is kind of negative. Peter Brandt urges the SEC to declare XRP as a security. So Peter went out of his way to tell the SEC, hey, punish XRP. Also, we're seeing that Bitcoin is above 16K and kind of holding there steadily, but going down a little bit. However, there's a reason for that as Bitcoin reaches new highs as central banks hint at more stimulus. And here's a hint, it's gonna keep continuing. And on top of last night's YouTube debacle where I did a premiere of the video from yesterday, which it was shut down because YouTube went down for an hour. Fantastic timing. Also, Celsius was also down. We're going to take a look at why that happened. So we'll go over all that. But first, take a look at what's going on in the markets so today. It is Thursday, November 12th, about 12 p.m. high noon Texas time. And we've got Bitcoin just teetering on that 16K number. It is a fantastic day for Bitcoin holders. 0.7% for 24 hours and almost 14% for the week. That is fantastic. Ethereum sitting pretty at that 450 mark. I like it. Even though it's down 3.5%, still up 13 for the week. Tether's Tether, XRP, wow, 25 cents. Still holding strong to all you XRP holders. Still at a quarter. Good for you. Chainlink, unfortunately, is down. Bad for me. <laughs> I'm a Chainlink holder and it's down 7%, but 18 and a half for the week at only $12. Bitcoin Cash down just a just a percentage, not too bad. Binance Coin a little bit down. Polkadot still hanging around 430, 440. I'll take it. Litecoin down a little bit. I think it looks like everything's down a little bit, uh, except for you know Bitcoin. Hey, not too bad. And uh, let's see, Monero down 5%. Tron, ugh, Tron. Tron's Tron. I, I have nothing against Tron. If you hold Tron, congratulations. Uh, Stun some decent things this year. I don't know. Uh, Tezos down 4%. Jeez, Cosmos down 4%. But Cosmos was on a huge run. It was still up 13% for the week. So uh, I'll still take those gains. Dash. Dash is up majorly. 10%, 20% for the week. So good job, all you Dash holders. I personally don't hold it, but hey, whatever. And then uh, Celsius Network. I have to, I got to tell you. I got to tell you. Um, Celsius Network. Some people were asking me in the comment section, which I love to peruse and take a look at. They're like, hey, Rob, why do you keep telling us the dollar cost average? We know Celsius is going to go to the moon, so let's get in now before it takes off. I'm like, whoa, 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 just calm down. This was the same thing that was said in 2017 for every single cryptocurrency and digital asset uh, piece out there. So uh, I will always just say this dollar cost average, because look, these are the things that uh, can happen. I, yesterday, it was at a dollar ninety six, I think it was, and I was like, "Hey, it's gonna hit two dollars." I think it's gonna hit two dollars. I'm not for sure, but I think it's going to, and it didn't. And this is why uh, I like the dollar cost average because it takes out the emotional factor, and you just are just doing calculations and just every day or every three days or every week or month or whatever it is, you just put in a set amount into a project that you believe in because you have done a lot of research into it and you think, yeah, it's going to go up. I don't know if it's going to go up anytime soon, but I don't want to dump all my money into it because there are going to be days like this. And here it is down 7%. And guess what's going to happen today? I'm going to increase uh, my dollar cost average position because it's down 7% and it's a great time to buy. So that again is why I say it. Now, over time, it's going to be the same question over and over again. Rob, why don't we just dump it all in? Don't you mean? I'm telling you, it's the same thing. It's the same answer every single time. Just wait and relax. It's not my first rodeo. This is what happens. Uh, what else we got? Uniswap, Uniswap down 6%, 30% for, ooh, dang, 13% for Aave. They were doing so good. Uh, ooh, hey, Beta Network, yes, is down 6%. I'm going to have to buy some of that as well. Actually, it's today. I can't remember if today's my day for Theta. I got to look. Anyhow, it uh, looks like there's some things down, but all in all, it's a pretty good day uh, as far as uh, if you're into crypto assets. So now I will just remind everybody that I don't, I don't know what you're going to do, but when there's great days like this, I mean, there's a little bit down, you know, but over the last month or so, we've had a, a tremendous run. So 
Don't forget, if you can, if you have the opportunity, I have the opportunity just to give back. So I'm gonna get to two charities today. One I've talked about before, Dog is my co-pilot, it's fantastic. It takes dogs that are in high kill shelter areas like in my hometown of El Paso and Houston, and they fly them over to areas where uh, people actually need dogs that they don't have dogs or cats, whatever else. So uh, I'll donate to that today. And also there's a great website called thelivingblock.com or thegivingblock.com. And uh, as you can see, it's still churning right here because I'm on Brave Browser. But uh, what's great about this is you can find different charities uh, for whatever you want to, and you can donate to those charities. So I'm going to switch over to uh, Chrome because <laughs> Chrome actually allows this thing to pop up. And yeah, here we go. So what I'm going to give to, you can filter by category, which is pretty cool. Animal welfare, available to children, community service, all those things. And uh, there's one that I was turned on to by a friend, the Ugandan Water Project, Donate Crypto. And what's great about this is that you can you can look up all these projects. Uh, you can go right to their website. You, know, you can do some background research. Remember, uh, there are uh, a lot of uh, charities that a lot of it goes to, in some charities, like 90% go to the management fees of just actually taking care of it only 10 cents. The American Red Cross is one of those examples. Uh, they have a horrible rating. But for the research I've done for Uganda Water Project, it looks great. They actually provide like the basic uh, necessity of living uh, to people who uh, have a real hard time uh, getting just water. So I will definitely donate to them. So let's do that right now. Huh? So what's great is that it takes Bitcoin, Ether, Litecoin, Bitcoin, I mean, all that stuff, right? So I'm going to give uh, Ethereum. And right here, it's, I'm going to put my first name and all this stuff. Oh, great. There's a... You know, if you just scroll down, you can continue anonymously. That's cool. I'll do that. Oh, so, hey, look, it's even got, so I can contribute 0 0.1 or 1 either 10 ETH. Now it goes 0 0.15, sure. And it's going to say, and then you, you click on pledge, ready to donate 0 0.15 ETH. Gonna, yes, let's go. Thanks for donating. So here's where you send it. So I'm going to copy this and I can get a tax receipt. Uh, so I'm going to go to my, my Ether wallet, which is contained in my Brave browser, and I'm going to send. So I'm just going to verify this. So 0xEC86B3. 0xEC. 86B3. Okay, that's right. And let's do average and then 0 0.15. 68 bucks. Sure. I'm going to click next. Gas fee. Not too bad. 48 cents. That's not uh, pretty good. Confirm. And then away it goes. And that's it. So yeah, great. And then you can also track it right there. Uh, it's going to come up. Transaction confirmed. Great. Which you can't see because on the very top right hand corner. So that's good for that one. And then for dog is my copa. That's super simple. Uh, they don't take uh, Bitcoin, which is kind of a bummer, but whatever. So yeah, 50 bucks, sure. Submit. And then same thing. Dan Digital Asset News, that's me. All right, so that one's done as well. So I will link uh, both of these websites in the description of the video. So uh, let's go into uh, today's top story.